Good morning or afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Uh, my name is Amanda Cardenas and I am the teacher author behind the store, Mud and Ink Teaching. And today I'm excited to bring to you guys a brand new product to my store that I've actually been using in my classroom for quite a while now. Um, but I see more and more teachers moving to Google Forms and so I wanted to provide you with a quick and easy way to get started with forms. So the purpose of this video is to show you guys how to use this particular product um, and also to give you a quick tutorial of how to use Google Forms in your classroom. It has been a game changer for me as far as saving time and organization goes. So I hope this will be helpful to you as well. So if you choose to purchase this product, it's only $2.50. Um, it's really um, a quick and easy survey, but I provide a pretty in-depth tutorial, including this video, um, to help you make this work streamlined in your classroom. So this is how Google Forms will work. Okay, this is a quick preview of the product. And once you get in, you're going to see that there are directions of how to obtain the form. So in, in, rather than reading you the directions, I'm just going to show you how this will work. So once you download the product, you'll simply click on the link and you'll have access to the form. Here is the Google form. This is what it looks like. This is what you will receive once you download the product. I've made it very basic and very simple so that it's more like a template for you to work from. You can use it exactly how it is, or you can add or delete responses, um, sorry, questions um, as you would like. So you can see here, there's a title, um, a little description here. You guys can uh, personalize that. Um, here are the basic information I ask for, from students, things like their name, their last name, their ID number, um, their parent and guardian names, how to reach them, things like that. So you can kind of see just really quick a preview of the types of questions that are asked, things like this. So if you like this survey, um, this would be a great product for you to buy that would help you get started in your classroom. So once you download it, this is what you're going to see. Um, no matter what, whether you're going to add questions or leave it as it is, the directions are very clear that you cannot use this product immediately. What you need to do first, it says here in the title, um, this is the original, do not edit this. You must make a copy. So to do that, to make this yours so that you own it, you're going to click this tiny little three dotted column over here on the right hand side and click make a copy. Now you can title it, um, you know, Mrs. Smith's back to school survey. Now it is yours. If you edit the one that you download, that means you're going to edit it for everybody else and it will not be, you know, in your Google drive. So now you can see that the title changed. This is Mrs. Smith's back to school survey. Now this is yours. You own it. If you want to double check, you guys can look in your Google drive and here it is right? Google Forms are this little purple icon. And so here's my back to school survey. That's what I want to see in my Google Drive. It's here and now I can edit it. The original is here. Don't need that anymore. I can work on my own. So a basic quick tutorial of forms is, is really easy. Um, to add or delete questions, the toolbar is right over here to the side. You click the plus button to add a question. You can type in it. Um, you can say, who was your favorite teacher in elementary school? You can see that the default response is multiple choice. This particular question, I don't think, I mean, if you know a list of elementary school teachers, you certainly could add them all there to the list. But instead, you could click on the drop down menu and you could give them the short answer option. Now students can just type in their answer here. There's all different kinds of questions you can ask students on forms and feel free to play around with that. Once you have your form, um, you can do whatever you like. Okay. Um, if you want to delete a question, there's a little trash can down here. You can just simply delete it. If you want to make sure that a student responds to it to make it required, you'd simply click this little button here. And that means a student cannot submit the form until they've answered this question. So that is kind of a personal preference, whether or not you want to make the question required. I'm going to delete it because I don't want that question. Once I've got this all set, I've got all the questions I want to ask. Everything's ready to go. There are a couple of artsy fart 
fancy things you could add if you'd like. Um, over here, you can add images. If you want to add a picture to the survey, you could add a video. Um, that's Those are all kind of easy things that you can add. You can also change the background. Right now, it's kind of like a little campfire. Um, you can just change it to a solid color. You could change the background to something more, I don't know, that fits your class a little bit better. Maybe your... Um, Maybe you're an art class, you can change the background to an artistic one. That's all up to you. These are little things that are really not pertinent to the survey itself, but are kind of fun things for you to play around with if you're a teacher that loves design. Um, once you think you're ready, the way to view it and this, the way that the students will see it is to click the little eyeball. This will give you a preview of what students will see. So this is what a student will see when you send them the survey. Okay, so that's what they're going to see when you give it to them. If you like it, you're good to go. Beautiful. Now it's time to move on. There's a couple of different ways to do this. In my product, I describe three ways to share the survey with students, either via email, via the screen projector, or Google Classroom. Those directions are really easy. Basically, all you need to do is click on the button send, and then you can either send it directly to a student via email, you can grab the link here, you can shorten it, uh, and then you can also embed it in a website if you would like. Um, if you use Google Classroom, you simply open up Google Classroom, add an assignment, and then you just upload it the same way that you would upload anything else. It'll, you'll find it right there in your drive. Now, once you've distributed it to students, which I haven't, so I'm not gonna, my, my responses is gonna be blank, you can click here on responses. So, so far I have zero because I haven't given it to any students, but once students respond, you'll see live responses here. And if you would like, what I recommend actually is to click this green button and you're gonna create a new spreadsheet. This spreadsheet will collect all of the students' answers in a really clean and easy to read format for you. So you'll have the timestamp of when they turned it in. So if it was a homework assignment, you'll know when they turned it in. Uh, and then the answers to all of their questions will populate in this spreadsheet. So you'll have this all year long and it automatically saves in your Google Drive. I'll take you back there. So you can see here was my survey, here are my responses. It's that simple. So if you're looking for a great new way to start the year, I hope you guys consider um, a back to school survey using Google Forms. Um, if you have any other questions uh, about using Google Forms, you guys know that you can reach out to me via Facebook, via Twitter, I'm on Instagram, or you guys can easily send me an email. Um, my information is right here. Um, I'm on Periscope uh, occasionally, um, but my Facebook and Instagram and um, and Twitter, I'm on pretty regularly, and certainly my email, you're welcome to send me an email, and I can help you through a troubleshooting something or other, and um, I'd be happy to do that. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful rest of your day, and you enjoy this product if you decide to purchase it. Thank you so very much.